Hi, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm going to talk about IMS passive in DLT. As the previous video was about circuit switch fallback, so I've decided to talk about IMS and SIP. If you can remember, in the previous video, I've told you uh, at release 8, I mean, first release of LTE, uh, there wasn't any uh, entity or uh, connectivity for voice call. So they had to do circuit switch fallback. But after that, they decided to add something. Uh, they call that IMS. And the, what is the IMS? Oops, actually, uh, this is IMS, IP Multimedia Network. And actually, it's somehow scary. Uh, lots of entities here, but we're not going to take a look at all of them. Just SCSCF, ICSCF, PCSCF, and AS. We're going to just take a look at them and we'll continue okay so this is the thing that we can consider from the network we have ip connectivity access network we have pcscf proxy so it will act like a proxy it accepts requests and forwards them and then we have icscf so whenever there is the originating call from the u it first goes towards pcscf and icscf it's interrogating as we can consider from uh, its name, uh, the whatever terminating call uh, that are just you know going directly towards us ICSCF, and also we have SCSCF, which is the serving. It's gonna uh, do the routing and uh, maintaining sessions, downloading user information. So it will communicate directly uh, to HSS for subscriber information, for authentication, for that sort of things, I mean, bandwidth. And also we have AS uh, application server provides a specific IP for the messaging or something like that. Anyway, and there are some protocols. We have SIP session initiation protocol. So it, uh, it, it, it is for registration or subscription notification, something like that. And also we have SDP session description protocol. Uh, it is uh, for negotiation uh, for media type, codec type, IP address bandwidth and finally RTP and RTCP for transport the real app, real time application. Anyway, at first we need a what registration. I mean, before making a phone call, we need to register. How this is the process? At first, we know that we we are in the EP uh, as attached per, uh, situation or we are registered. So. The UE is uh, searching for proxy, it sends a re register requ request, it goes directly towards PCSCF, as I told you, it's a proxy, so it accepts and uh, uh, forwards the request, the register, goes here, so ICSCF, it, de it decides uh, for the SCSCF uh, selection, sends that uh, towards that, and do the, some sort of authentication, and SCSCF uh, sends it back, uh, via this number, so there are some there are some numbers, and uh, the communication are based on that numbers, and each number uh, is a code for a specific ID or specific uh, reason. Four or one, uh, it means unauthorized. But uh, does this mean you cannot communicate? No, it means uh, the communication is unauthorized. So we need some sort of uh, authorization or authentication. We need security. So we have. IP6 security association here and then again we have the register register and okay this okay 100 uh, 200 it means uh, so we are okay we are registered after that this is the procedure so we have SDP we have invite so this year is originating a call uh, I told you about the SDP so we have the SDP it goes towards the SCS SCSCF I'm sorry for that is stammer uh, anyway we have service control so it looks at the services and then it's a uh, tcp uh, network there is a request there's acknowledge request acknowledge so we can see for all of them there is a there is an acknowledge so offer response authorization qs resources so pcstf will look into the uh, qs uh, which is going to uh, which is a UE is going to give uh, we know that based on each request uh, it will act like uh, we, I need a service in, in the LT network so we need a QCI for that and based on a QCI so 
there's a QC, uh, there's a QoS for that. And for call, which has the highest priority, the QCI value is one. We know that some of them are guaranteed beat rate, some of them are non-guaranteed beat rate. Anyway, the highest priority is one, which is for the voice call. And we have resource reservation, again, uh, about the QoS, the bandwidth, something like that. We have response of that. And again, something like acknowledge, reservation, uh, confirmation. So this reservation, uh, UE sends the confirmation for that and confirmation back and ringing. This ringing, UE will alert the other uh, UE is ringing and they're going to enable the media flow. So we have uh, some sort of uh, uh, bare modification and this OK means the call will start. But I know that taking a look at the, some sort of diagrams, will not make sense i'm gonna show you some cap uh some captured packets but not for dlt just for uh, server media in order to make more sense for that reason we have uh one ue one ue2 and uh 2030 and 21 is uh, the server and uh, whatever communication is here just goes directly towards the ue1 to the server and the server to UE2 and uh, I mean vice versa so from UE2 to the server so they're not going to communicate with each other directly so let's go for the wire shark to see the capture packets okay so as it is case sensitive we're gonna just use this uh, filter as SIP at first there's a register request I've told you we have that we can uh, see that here there is a register request, so register request and register unauthorized for one register and here there is authorization, so authentication and it's okay. So let's take a look here. We have the first register request from number 30 to the server 21. Bear that in mind, 21 is server here in order not to uh, get confused. So uh, 30 to 21 and there is a SIP protocol, there's register with the unauthorized message again look 30 to 21 and uh, 30 to uh, 21 it, it goes back so there's unauthorized and here if we take a look at the length we'll see it increased and why what is the reason of this increase if we come here and look uh look we have authorization here uh, this is a uh, part of the header of the packet it increased due to this authorization based on we can see here algorithm md5 so it's an md5 hashing and there's some sort of username and password you can see here and here this message now is uh, authenticated and encrypted so there is okay and after that there's invite it's sdp we can come here and again take a look at this diagram so there is an invite this is a ND, sdp sdp invite we have authorization here about the qos and the ringing so let's go to the wireshark so we have invite request sip sdp and again this is unauthorized uh, there is no registration because it is registered but authorization will happen again so this is the authorization we have Again, the request. Look, uh, there's a request uh, from 20 to, to, to the server. And in the meanwhile, server is going to send a uh, request towards the, th the communication is between 20 and 30. So 20 sends the request towards the server. Server sends that or forwards that towards the 30, the, the other UE. But in the meanwhile, it sends a message towards the uh, the sender which is I'm trying so it said uh, it goes uh, to the server server to the UE in the meanwhile UE uh, it is somehow like uh, one of the technologies that we, we've seen uh, we've seen uh, look it comes back as, as I'm trying trying to do uh, what you've asked and it goes again look trying and ringing 30 to 21 21 to 20 and ringing and there is okay so we have the request status look 
they're gonna talk to each other here these uh 200s okay it means they are talking to each other talking and then buy again uh this is the time that uh, you're gonna hang off the call so 30 hang up the call and it sends that towards the server 21 and uh 21 uh it is saying to the 30 okay so the call is hang hung up but in the meanwhile again uh, 21 sends that buy request towards the 20 it said okay the 30 hung up the call and you're gonna hang up, your call is going to hang up so this is the point uh you know it is based on sleep server it's not based on lte but the concept the procedure both are the same i mean uh, there, there's a communication between two ues two i don't know sleep users and there is a server in the middle so they're going to talk to the server and it goes back and forth and this is the concept of uh, SIP this is the concept of how the phone at first is going to be registered and the old things that I want to tell you about the registration authentication whatsoever anyway uh, I'll see you at the next video I hope you enjoyed that don't forget to subscribe to the channel bye everyone